Let's have a look at the five best supplements for your penile health. What you eat is what you get. No other organ shows it more clearly than your penis. Science has a lot to say about supplements and male sexual function, but also a lot of noise to cut through. Today, I'll walk you through what really matters. However, supplements are big business. As helpful as they may be, remember, they really work, which classifies them more like a drug rather than a peanut butter sandwich. I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, board-certified urologist, sexual medicine specialist, and certified expert in nutritional therapy. Let's get started. Number one, and also one of the most effective, is citrulline. Many creators talk about it, and they're right. Citrulline is an amino acid with strong antioxidant properties. In plain English, it helps eliminate those aggressive molecules your body produces simply by being alive. A lot of penile function depends on nitric oxide, a gas that makes the penis rise. The better your NO supply, the better your response. Citrulline doesn't give you nitric oxide directly, but it provides the raw material. Think of it as the lead your body turns into gold, the gold being nitric oxide. So yes, by taking citrulline, you may support your natural sexual function. Most products come with dosage recommendations. Citrulline is generally safe, but with supplements, more doesn't always mean better. Take it easy, let your body do the rest. At this point of the video, <laughs> oh no, I'm not asking you to subscribe. That part comes later. You've made it this far, so here's a bonus tip. If you're buying citrulline, go for capsules, not powder. Why? Because it doesn't smell like teen spirit, it tastes like teen socks. No joke, it has to do with enzymatic reactions that are also found in vomit. Number two is L-arginine. You've probably heard about it and that's why it's here. Biochemically, it works in the same department as citrulline. It's an amino acid and it fuels the same process, nitric oxide production. That's the gas that lifts the penis. L-arginine is often paired with citrulline and for good reason. Together, they help your body do what it already knows how to do, dilate blood vessels and respond to arousal. But let's be honest, on its own, L-arginine is a bit old school. It's like using a fax machine in a world of encrypted messaging. It still works, but there's a better way now. And it's not my personal number one either. If you stick around, I will reveal it a little later. But why is L-arginine old school? Here's the deal. It's been around forever because it works, just not as well as it used to. Most of it gets broken down in the liver before it can help you. That's why citrulline quietly stole the spotlight. L-arginine still has value, especially when combined with my personal number one, which I'm going to reveal right after you've subscribed to your channel. It's easier than getting an erection and faster too. Same with giving this video a like. Thank you, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now for my personal number one and the third supplement in this video. Pycnogenol. It's extracted from the bark of the French maritime pine. Biochemically, it's a powerhouse of polyphenols, natural compounds with strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. What does that mean for your penis? Quite a lot, actually. Pycnogenol enhances nitric oxide production in the endothelium, the inner lining of your blood vessels. Better endothelial function means better blood flow. And as you know by now, better blood flow means better performance. But there's more. Pycnogenol seems to amplify the effects of both citrulline and L-arginine. That's why many of the best evidence-based supplements combine these three. It's not a magic bullet, but it might just be the catalyst. So yes, pycnogenol is my number one, not because it works alone, but because it helps the others work better. And that's a good metaphor for sex too. I know that many of you haven't heard about pycnogenol. I bet you thought zinc was my favorite, but it is not. It's just number four on the list. The reason, it doesn't do much for the penis itself. It supports your prostate, it supports your sperm, and yes, it's essential for testosterone, but only if you're low. Otherwise, 
it won't change a thing. So don't guess, test. One simple blood test will tell you exactly where you stand. And if you are already in the normal range, more zinc won't help. It might even hurt. Most men are not zinc deficient, but some are, especially those on restrictive diets or with absorption issues. And here's the paradox. While too little zinc affects testosterone, too much might increase the risk of aggressive prostate cancer. That's why testing beats guessing. Now I bet you won't guess supplement number five. It boosts endothelial function, delivers nitrate ready to be turned into nitric oxide, acts as a powerful antioxidant, and fights inflammation. The name of that super supplement, leafy greens. I know, not a pill, not a powder, but think about it. Supplement just means add-on. And here's the kicker, not even one in 10 American men eat leafy greens at all. In fact, dark green vegetables are the least consumed veggie group in the US. That makes them an add-on. That makes them a supplement. And no, this is not me lecturing. It's backed by clinical data. Here's a video about a heart patient who was completely impotent and restored it just by switching to leafy greens. Could he serve as an example for you? Watch and find out.